What's going on, everyone? This is Chan Man, and I'm back to bring you day five of sneak peeks for the Yeti. These Yeti mites. Uh, I can't wait to show you everything there is to know about them. You guys stay tuned. Cheers. What is up, champs? I am back to bring you a brand new unit to Clash of Clans. But before I dive right in and show you everything there is to know about it, if you guys would subscribe to my channel, turn on those notifications so you guys could be in the know every day what's going on with Clash of Clans. But anyways, um, let's just go over a little recap of what we've already gotten this week. We've got the uh, Jolly King skin, the Ho Ho Ho, which is a awesome new skin. Then we got the uh, Town Hall 13, which we were all anticipating um, with this awesome, powerful Giga Inferno. And then we got the Siege Barracks and then the Scatter Shot. Um, the Scatter Shot is super powerful. You guys didn't catch that video that Echo and I did yesterday. Make sure you definitely check that one out. Um, it shows exactly how every unit fares at going against it. And then uh, today we got the Yeti and his or her Yeti Mites. Um, to me, the Yeti is as if the Bowler and the Golem fell in love and its offspring became a Yeti and its Yeti Mites. Um, but let me explain exactly why I think that is because the, you know, the bowler, it throws things and the Yeti mites target defenses. They kind of fall off the Yeti every time the Yeti gets hit. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and make some. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So you're going to have to upgrade your barracks, which you can do at Town Hall 12. So Town Hall 12 can get the Yeti and its Yeti mites. And then you can max it out at Town Hall 13. But let's go ahead and uh, upgrade our barracks so I can show you what this sucker looks like. Come and finish it off. And as you can see here, if you look at the barracks, how cool this barracks is, and you can identify that it's actually one that actually has a Yeti because if you look really close, you can see the little Yeti mites right on the top. This cute little sucker just bouncing Aww. around. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and let's train one of these uh, these Yetis so you can see exactly what it looks like. How cool is this troop? It is so cool. It's got the little Yeti mites right in the back in its pouch. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up some stats on it. So as you can see here, the level one, it comes with different spawn units. You can look at its damage per second, which is 230, uh, and its hit points. And the Yeti goes all the way up to level three for a Town Hall 13. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump in action and you can see exactly how this Yeti works. All right, guys, I got the Yeti now. Um, it's maxed out Yeti. We're going to hit up a max a scatter shot to begin with. Um, which is a level two, and that's going to hit a level one right after that. Um, what do you think? What do you guys think? You think it's going to be able to take them both down? Maybe one down. Let's see. All right, so we got the Yeti dropping into place, coming in, dun, 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 dun. and you'll see when it got hit right there, one of the Yeti mites jumped out. So only when the Yetis actually hit do you see the Yeti might start popping out. So it's going to take down this scatter shot because it's within those three tiles, just like a cannon. Um, and next, it's coming through. It's going to come hit the next scatter shot. And you see another one of the, the Yeti mites keep popping out as it was getting hit. But it's not getting hit anymore, so the Yeti might stop. Uh, but anyways, this, uh, this Yeti, as you can see, is actually pretty powerful. It made it all the way through both of them. All right, so let's go. Let's jump in and see how it does against a town hall. All right, guys, I have a maxed out Yeti, and I'm hitting a maxed out Town Hall 13. We're going to see exactly how one fares against it. So right here, I drop one. It's coming in. If you remember, the Town Hall 13 has one of those super powerful Giga Infernos inside. So as soon as it gets hit, you're going to see the Giga Inferno pop out, along with when the Yeti gets hit, the little Yeti might start jumping out and targeting the, the Town Hall. So as you can see, the... I don't think one one Yeti is not enough, so we're probably going to need two to take this guy down. So we're going to send one more coming in, and you see all the little Yeti mites drop as soon as that Yeti got hit. So here comes the second one coming in. The Giga Inferno is going to target it, and it's coming in, and it should be able to finish off this Town Hall. There we go. And there it goes down the Town Hall, and then the bomb drops from the Inferno. It should take out the Yeti as well. Um, all right, but let's go ahead and jump in and see this whole thing in live action, see exactly how a whole mass of Yetis does. All right, guys, I have this brand new Town Hall 13. We're going to be hitting this base with these maxed out Yetis. We're going to be launching this whole funnel through right at 1 and 2 o'clock. So in order to do that, we're going to have to drop down some Yetis over here at 3 o'clock. And we're also going to use that brand new Siege Barrack, putting it at 12. And if you remember, the Siege Barrack, you get free, free Clan Castle troops. So it starts off every time with a P.E.K.K.A., followed by Wizards. And you get more and more Wizards based on how much you upgrade it. But anyways, let's go ahead and launch this. And you see this Yeti right here is going to take out that army camp with ease. It's going to keep pushing through. 
and that Tesla pops up and we drop some more in right here. So we're going to start creating that funnel, clearing everything in the bottom. And we're going to drop that Siege Barracks right here at 12 o'clock. And here comes the P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards. We're going to put some more Yetis in. And we're going to put a jump in right at 1 and 2 o'clock. And you see all these Yetis coming through. And I'm going to slow this down so you can see all these little Yeti mites popping everywhere. So you know they're... You know all your Yetis are getting hits because you see all the Yeti mites popping out and they're targeting all those defenses. So they're going to be pushing through straight through the middle of these base. And it looks like these guys are getting destroyed, but they're not. They're extremely powerful. And I'm just going to start speeding this up so you can kind of see that they just keep plowing through the base, through these amazing max out walls, and they just keep pushing through. And they just destroy this base. I really, really, really like this concept of having a unit that targets at one time all units and then another one only defensive units. I think it's a just a really, really cool concept. It's going to bring strategy to a different level using these guys. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys think. I, I love, love having a new units to the game. Thank you, Supercell, for bringing this. Uh, but I think that about wraps it up. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, turn on this notification and give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video and I'll keep pushing more and more content to you as well. And also use creator code CLASHCHAMPS that supports me and my staff over at ClashChamps.com. Uh, we do tournaments.